wh- where do things stand with Austin Eckler? Where do things stand with him right now? Uh, nothing's changed. Um, you know, his situation is, is unique. Um, I completely understand that, which is why we, we you know, kind of allowed them to kind of look and see if there was something out there available. It's not something that we had no intent, no interest of trading him, but, you know, fully knowing his situation, um, you know, say so go ahead and do it. And, um, you know, I, I gave, you know, I talked about this, I think it was last week with my former boss, Bill Pulling, who's now in the media, which mm-hmm hard to imagine but um <laughs> it's, uh, you know as a gm you have to deal with a lot of people's salaries and, and it's a challenge um and it's not just players like as a gm you're dealing with players and coaches and scouts and front office executives and support staff and there is definitely um a point in everyone's career that you feel like you know you're not being compensated appropriately and obviously as you know that's not just football it could be any business yes but when i was talking with bill and i know he didn't remember this story um when he was a GM of the Colts and I was there, I was probably my second year with the Colts, like my fifth year in the NFL. And I go into his office because um, my contract was up. He slides a piece of paper in front of me. I look at it and the number was a lot lower than I expected. And my heart just dropped. And, um, you know, I just felt, even though I was a young guy, I just felt like I was kind of, you know, showing more value than I was being paid. And, you know, it bothered me initially, but then, you know, it, the way it was then, and I was a young guy, you just put your head down and get back to work. Um, but the perspective that I have now in this chair that I didn't have then that mm-hmm. Bill had is, you know, there's just so many factors that go into somebody's salary that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it's not always a reflection of how they feel about you as a person. And um, I didn't get that then. I get it now, you know, because I have to deal with a lot of people. Um, but I also knew with Bill, like, you know, you work hard for Bill, he would run through a wall for you. Um, and then I was lucky enough that, you know, things worked out well for me down the road. But, look, you know, dealing with people's salaries is not easy. Um, and I understand people are going to be uncomfortable and maybe upset sometimes. That's just, you know, nature of the business, probably nature of all businesses. Um, but uh, I get it. So, um, but, yeah, I guess that's a long answer to a question. Hey, look, you know, nothing here has really changed. He's a big part of this team, big part of an offense that obviously we want to get more explosive. And, you know, he leads the league in scoring. Yeah. He's a big part of that. So, um, you know, we added a receiver in the draft. There's a couple receivers in the draft. And uh, hopefully we're going to get after that this year. Because, again, you know, he's – again, he's such good people, and I know you, you'd agree with that. And and uh, in the same way that you want your quarterback to be the hardest-working guy, you also want to reward, I imagine, guys who, who are the Austin Ecklers of the world who just score touchdowns and are so crucial but also come from nowhere, essentially, uh, to be such a crucial part of, of this. So so what is your relationship with him, if you don't mind me asking, before I let you go into the summer where I'm assuming he will show up on time? Well, for, yeah, he, he's, I mean, he's awesome. We, we love him, and I, and I love him. And, you know, I know there's this, you know, this quote-unquote running backs devalued, and it's like running back's a hard position. You handle the ball a lot. You have to be using the passing game like we use Austin a lot. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to pass protect, which he does very well. He, he's a selfless pass protector. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, I love him. And there's, there's, there's just always that business part of it. You have to try and work everything together. Um, but uh, I can't, and it doesn't matter if Austin came from, you know, Western State or came from University of Colorado. I mean, it doesn't matter where he came from. When he got here, he came in, earned a job, and it's been a big part of this organization for a long time. So, yeah, it's not always easy situations, but, um, yeah, I absolutely love him. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.